Brewers, how's it going? Gaddy from uh, VOC Home Brewery. Uh, just kind of getting the system all prepped, had a good caustic wash before, thorough rinse out, sanitising. Uh, just weighed all the grains out. Uh, there's 6.91 kilos in there. Uh, by the colour of it, you, one or two of you will probably have a guess that it's uh, going to be on the, a beer on the darker side, one I've not done before. Uh, we're basically going to try and do a decent, have a decent fist at doing the uh, Day of Hokum Stomp uh, Oatmeal Porter. So that's kind of everything in there. Uh, yeah, so all the prep's done. Just, gonna put, just waiting for the time to tick by so I can put the timer down. Have it turn on about 20 past 6 in the morning, something like that. So... I can come out and uh, it'll be nice and hot for me and I'll do the business so yeah all the prep's done uh, just a little bit of a tidy up in here you know it's like when you're weighing the grains out gets a bit dusty so yeah when it rolls over it'll be me yabbering again in the morning cheers morning brewers uh, Gary from uh, VOC Home Brewery uh, right follow on from uh, the vids has just rolled over just mashed in and uh, on the mash rest uh, about 15 minutes to go just letting it recirculate uh, it's bang on temp at 67 uh, it's got the system on pause i've uh, got quite a big grain bill in here doing the uh, day of hokum stomp clone so uh, yeah it all looks nice and chocolatey and what have you so far so uh, yeah all uh, all good just observing the the mash rest so we'll uh, See how this pan starts panning out very shortly. Cheers. It was the start of mash a few minutes ago. Uh, and this is the, the wok. Obviously, it's going to be brown and chocolate. Is it's a oatmeal stout? Uh, yeah, it's quite levels are very high in the kettles as you'd expect with this grain bill and the amount of water we've got in here. Uh, I don't think I'd like to max the system out, but there you go, might have to try that at some times. So, right, uh, people who watch me channel, uh, now I'll give a quick overview of my setup. So, that's the lever on the right side as you look at it. You can see you've got the pump level up to, what the hell is it, it's 60%. Uh, and that's the levers on the left side as you look at it. It's basically in, well, not basically, it is in chiller bypass mode so it just literally comes out the tank and straight back straight back in creating a bit of a circuit so that's uh that's a setup system uh it's quite a long mash on this one so it's, it's a 90 minute 90 minute mash and 10 minute mash out uh, so yeah i will uh, get back to you in a bit Hey brewers, back again. Uh, very uneventful brew day to be honest with you. We've got about 10 minutes of the mash left and a 10 minute mash out. Uh, where we are with the beautiful looking wart at the moment. So I'm very happy with that. Uh, I'm not a stout person to be honest with you, like APAs, IPAs. Uh, but this one's kind of uh, going in a keg and bottles and uh, going away for Christmas. So. Hopefully that'll be ready and nice by then. Uh, levels in the kettle, they, they did get a bit, they did get a bit high. Sorry, in the in the uh, oh that thing there, it's got it in the head. Uh, mash but malt pipe. Dear dear. Uh, yeah, they get a bit high. You can see kind of got up there, uh, but I just turned the pump down a touch and throttle uh, the lever on the uh, on the right there back to touch as well and um, all evened out and hunky dory no problem so yeah nothing much to report really just another smooth brew day as it stands at the minute touch wood touches his head right see you soon it was uh, just about three minutes or so left on the left on the uh, the mash out so just give you a quick shot of the the wart nice and clear quite happy with that not that, I've got, not that I've got any experience at all with stouts but it looks pretty good to me okay cheers 
Money Brewers back again. Uh, eight minutes into the boil. Uh, put the 60 minute editions in. I've uh, got 10 minute edition of uh, Irish Moss and Yeast Nutrient going in. And a 5 minute uh, 50 gram, I think it is. Five, 50 grams of Bramling Cross going in at 5 minutes. So we'll give it a little whirlpool at the end for 15 20 minutes and then we'll get it in the keg. Uh, Real easy day today again. Uh, wart's looking really good, really chocolatey and smells nice as well. So, yeah, everything going smooth. Cheers. Hey, brothers, welcome to the blazing sunshine. Sun's just come out. Just some amount to film. Make that out. Just on the hop stand now. Uh, giving it a good waz round. There's me lever positions. Uh, that's the state of the kettle got about, about 26 and a half uh, litres in there, boiled off about 5 litres roughly, maybe just a touch less. I'm going to test the uh, the OG again shortly, uh, see uh, see what's what, so yeah that's that's where we are. I'll, uh, I'll do another vid when it's kind of cooled and I'm, I'm lashing it in the, in the fermenter. Cheers. Just uh, lashing the uh, lashing the wort in the fermenter. That's the fermenter, obviously. Uh, that's where we are on the cooling. Uh, that's that's the, the levers on the left side, and that is the state of the kettle. Uh, so at about just right on the money really, uh, 31 litres uh, pre-boil, it's 31.08 so 31 is good. Uh, it's buzzing there telling me cooling but I've started a minute too early, put the yeast in so it's uh, got a nice wart shower to welcome it to the wart so so yeah so it's all gone, all gone swimmingly today. Again, uh, ended up with about 26 and a half uh, in the kettle after uh, after the boil. Quite a vigorous boil, really, but did have to leave it on, you know, 90, 95 percent. Uh, not sure why. I'll have to check my settings. Usually have it 55, 60, 70 percent, and then you get a really hard boil. But there you go. Such is uh, such is brewing. Always a little something, but yeah. So everything's gone great today. Uh, very happy with how it's looking. Uh, I might do this one as a grain to glass, but then again, I might not. I might just uh, lash it up tonight and put some photos on YouTube in a few weeks when it's uh, when it's ready to drink. So, anyway, if you've uh, watched to the end and been bored to tears, thanks very much. Uh, if you want to like and subscribe, thanks very much. If not, well, you know, thanks very much. So. <clears throat> I'll might be brewing again on Sunday if I can uh, persuade Shea must be obeyed to let me do it so I'll see you soon cheers <laughs>